few different options for connecting the light shooter guns up to your gaming box in the Star Wars cab. We do offer a USB hub option as well as a USB extender. They go together. Uh, I'll explain that in one second. The other option is if you do have the PC hub and you're able to use it with your Star Wars, it's not already in use somewhere else, that is an option as well. You will probably still want the USB hub because you want to connect your PC base to that. You can probably send the cord through the vent there in the back of the door easily enough and you'll be able to plug in your light guns, your pedals, and even power the recoil with this as long as you use separate AC power. To use the other option that we provide, it's pretty simple. You have two options for feeding this into the cab. You can slip the USBs through the vent if you'd like. It won't be a perfectly neat solution, but you can kind of leave it hanging out here. Plug your guns in, take them out at will. If you want a neater solution, drill or cut a 30 millimeter, about an inch and a quarter hole. And you'll be able to use the nut to tighten that right to the back of your cab. And though two light guns can plug in and unplug from there. Nice and neat, clean, easy to switch your guns from your Star Wars to your retro shooter console or to a PC build. So I have our 19 inch screen upgrade installed in here and our IR modules are connected. It is highly recommended that you get the USB hub that we have because you're going to start to run out of ports. So it works really nicely to simply peel the tape and stick that right on the side of the cabinet, right about there. You can hardly see it because it's black. And we'll be able to plug our USB ports in right there. And you can still have a port to plug the fan in, which you probably want on the box as well. If you're going to use the PC hub that comes with some versions of the Retro Shooter kit, that is possible to do. You will connect your two guns there. You can connect your pedals and you can connect recoil as long as you use external power to power the hub. So simply put that PC hub into the new hub that we just installed. You can run this through the slat in the door and have your plugs accessible outside for switching back and forth. That is option number one. If you don't have this or you're using it somewhere else, then we have the option to get our extender cable. As you recall, we've put that through the door already. So now these cables can be plugged directly into the hub and you'll be able to replace your door and now your guns can be plugged in and unplugged anytime you want nice and clean so let's plug the guns in now we're going to test and make sure that player one gun is set to the correct position we're going to go into light gun games we're going to use beast busters it's a good one to test with and we will see if the guns are in the right order. And some credits, hit start on the gun. We do not seem to be firing. If I take the blue gun, player two, it fires. But that's not right, because the start and coin is on the red gun. And the firing is on the blue gun. So we need to fix that. Quit the game. Fix is simple. We simply need to switch the two ports. So we're going to take the top one, put it in the bottom. We're going to flip it around because they are in the opposite direction. And the bottom one 
goes into the top. Try it out. Okay, now grab the red gun again. Start it again. Oh, you can see the trigger's already doing something. And now our red gun is firing as expected. Let's add player two. Start coin. Coin start, I mean. And we're playing and we're already firing blue bullets. Now we can grab both guns and go to town. So that's the simple way to correct it if the guns are out of order. All the games are mapped the same, so once you get it right, it's good.